Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. This week's tutorial is about moving the text and the metadata, like the categories, in the Divi Portfolio module, moving it up over top of the image. So it makes a really nice display to have the text on top of the image, have a nice little overlay effect, rather than having the text below the image. So we're going to show you that in the Divi Portfolio and Filterable Portfolio modules. If you're watching on YouTube, click the link in the description. You'll need the code snippet, some jQuery and CSS to do this. So as you know, um, there's just a limited number of settings in the portfolio module. So we are using custom code. Now, the first step is really simple. Just add a CSS class. In fact, right here it is, PA portfolio overlay. That's what we're calling this. So you can see from the screenshot, we are copying that class and putting it into the portfolio. So I'll go over here and go into the module, advanced tab, CSS, ID and classes and paste it here. Now this works for the filterable portfolio module. In fact, almost any tutorial does. They're, they're the exact same thing except one has the filters. So you can kind of keep that in mind anytime you're working with these. A lot of the CSS for either module will be um, cross compatible. All right, so we've added the CSS class. Let's go check the next step and that is adding the jQuery. So we need to place this somewhere on our website. We can place it in a child theme or we can place it in the theme options or we could even place it in a code module. So go ahead and copy that and then choose where you want to place it. I would recommend putting it in the Divi theme options in the integrations. So look for the integration tab and then this area here, add code to the head of your blog and it'll be the top gray box here. Scroll down if you have any other code there and paste like that. There you go. And make sure you save your changes. Now back to the next step and that is adding the CSS. So we've added the class and the jQuery, which the jQuery is connecting that module. It's going to influence and affect that module where the class is. Now we also have to add some CSS styling and that is pretty simple. Also, we're going to copy this and you can put that in your child theme or in theme options as well. Now in theme options, it would be in the general tab. So over here, you can put, you can scroll to the bottom here also and put it below anything that you have right there, paste it and, and save that. But for what I want to do, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to show you. And you may need to do that there, but, but since I'm the one doing the tutorial, I want to customize it and show you how to customize it. So I'm not going to put it there yet because it's a little more inconvenient. Putting it in here is kind of like the last step, like after I customize it. That's the way I work. So instead, I'm going to put it in a Chrome extension that I use. It's called User CSS, and it allows me to like work live, right? Like it's not actually affecting the site. If someone, if you came to this site while I had that there, you wouldn't see that, but it's for me, you know, affecting just me. And it's really handy because it allows me to work here. Uh, I can see the code that I just added um, very clearly, in fact, because it's like live right here, right? So I have some information in the bottom of the tutorial about moving the text um, and adjusting the overlay. So those are two things that you'll probably want to do. I already mentioned adjusting the text color, um, but it, let's, let's talk about moving the text. So you can see here, I explain about how it's, it's by default, um, it's, it's uh, centered. I mean, it's centered vertical and horizontally. Now the text alignment is left. In fact, you can see that. So if I'd go into the module and change the text align center, That'd be what I'd want to do with this layout, actually. You can see it's text align left, but that section of text, the title and the meta, is center vertical and horizontally. And that's because of this over here, um, the top and left transform. And I have here in the tutorial to make sure that if you want to change this, make sure you remove the transform line. And then I have an example, perhaps you want the to replace top with bottom and set the bottom to 10% and left 10%. Well, let's do that. I want to do um, bottom, change top to bottom and then say 10% and then left 
10%, right? And then I get rid of this transform line and look at that. It looks nice, doesn't it? So it's like, and you can, you can see what we're doing here, positioning absolute in relation to um, this item. Bottom, 10% right here, and the left is 10% here. And here, let me just change some values so you can see there's 20, there's 30, back to 10. The left, you could see 20, 10, right? So you may want to do that. In fact, that looks nice. Or I could say top 10%. Looks nice. I mean, you could choose that. Now, this overlay, you can see right here, create a custom overlay. So you may want to adjust the opacity. So look, it's 0.3. So what if I change that to 0.53 or 0.93? It's almost black, right? See that? It was, it was 0.3 originally. So you can also change it when you hover. See how it changes on hover. Well, I might want that to be 0.75 on hover, really dark when I hover. And the reason we're putting this overlay on in the first place is because, you know, text on an image, you know, it doesn't work the best. So you need contrast. You could change the background color. You know how I made the text white? I mean, if you wanted to make the overlay white, change this to white overlay, whew, and then um, change the text maybe increase the opacity, right? Or something, and then this will be black, black text, okay? You're not limited. You can do whatever you want here with this like templated code, right? So you can change the position, the overlay, opacity, and like I mentioned, the text color in the module. And this would work here as well. You can see the only difference here is I haven't changed the, um, you can see where the position is. I just haven't changed the text color. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. We do tutorials like this every week, so you can subscribe and follow along. Give me a thumbs up, comments, and all that stuff that helps me out. And we'll see you all in the next video.